Happening now, a teacher shortage is affecting schools across the country and right here in Michigan. But with fewer teachers in classrooms, are students less safe? 16 News Now investigates South Bend Community School Corporation's efforts to make sure there's enough supervision in their buildings. Our Carly Lucas not only talking to administrators, but also with a teacher who's sounding the alarm and says our schools need your help. So do you think school safety is an issue at South Bend schools? Yeah. Yeah. I think all the adults um, involved are trying their very best, but it's not like teaching adults. You do have to have a certain ratio of teachers to students, adults to students, all the different adults to keep things safe. And if you don't have that, um, it can become dangerous. And I think that's, that's kind of happening in a lot of our buildings. A teacher who spoke to us on the condition of anonymity says educators are facing increased fears over violence. There's a sense of like, wow, this is an out of control situation and no one's going to really be able to protect me. At a time when there aren't always enough people to staff their classrooms. We would love to have every building fully staffed and we're working hard. Administrators for South Bend schools now have the help of Sarita Stevens. She joined as the assistant superintendent of operations HR at a time when they need it most. Right now we uh, we have 39 vacancies, teaching vacancies, um, and we have a capacity for 1,200 teachers um, and we're about at 1160. She tells us most of the teacher vacancies are in the middle schools. In three of the middle schools there are 19 positions. You know, that's just how it fell for us here in South Bend. But in other places, you know, it's across the board. In South Bend, it's not. We're really focused on, you know, these middle schools and focused on getting um, all of the positions in the middle schools covered. But this middle school teacher says those vacancies are leading to unaddressed behavioral issues. Lots of teachers are expressing, um, not just me, that this is the worst it's ever been. There's not enough people to, to deal with discipline. And so kids feel they can get away with a lot of things. There's not enough people monitoring the halls. And there's there's been quite a lot of fights. Uh, students are threatening each other, threatening teachers. I mean, that's always happened. But when you don't have enough adults to handle each situation as they come up, it starts to grow. Administrators for South Bend schools contradict that claim. While there are vacancies, we still make sure there are people there, you know, that we have, you know, people for supervision. There may not be as many, but there are still ample individuals out to supervise hallway um, and in other transitions. And I have to tell you, in most of our schools, we have stable environments. But their work is far from over. You, know, you really have to focus in on that every single day. You know, you have to be vigilant, you have to get ahead of it. Um, and, and I have to say, when you have people that call off um, because they can't do it any other way in the morning, we have to step in. We, we have to be ready for that, and that's what we're trying to do. Still, the frustrations continue. This teacher says the lack of consistency is affecting students and educators. You know, I show up to different classes every day, and sometimes I know the students, sometimes I don't, uh, depending on the grade that I'm helping with that day. And, you know, it's who are you? All of those kinds of things are leading to teachers quitting or not coming back, getting exhausted. In my building, there are very few adults smiling at this point. And while teachers are covering extra classes... So we have a shortage not just of teachers, but also substitutes. So what happens is the teachers are every single day, almost without exception, giving up their planning periods uh, to go in and substitute. And so they're not getting a break. Administrators say it can help foster those important relationships with students. Although class coverage can cause fatigue with our teachers. Um, it's a benefit because children know those teachers and they feel, you know, safe and accommodated because it's a familiar face. But there are still worries some kids will fall through the gaps. It's just a matter of like being able to immediately address the behaviors and get students, students who are fighting at school, especially repeatedly, they, they have some kind of emotional issue going on in their lives and they need extra help and extra attention. They don't need to be suspended or thrown away, but they do need they do need extra help and that's what we're missing. Steven says it takes a village. That means that the collective effort of everyone working together 
will keep everyone safe. It's creating the system of safety and stability. You really do have to respect every aware human being and give them a voice uh, because they will tell you where the gun is. They will tell you who has the gun. They will tell you who has the mace. They'll tell you who, have the, who has the knife. So, you know, that is why you want to create that relationship no matter how few people you have. You want somebody that has that specific relationship with that kid that they'll tell. The district says as they work to find more teachers, they're also there to listen and to ensure schools are being operated safely. You want to listen to every voice. So you, you do have to respect someone saying that I don't feel that there's enough co coverage and I feel vulnerable. But our number one goal and our number one expectations for our principals are if there are shortages, supervision, safe supervision of our students is our number one priority. What we want those teachers to know is that we are working very hard to make sure that we're at full teacher capacity. The teacher I spoke to supports the school's recruitment efforts and is calling on the community to step in and help. It's not going to magically happen. It's not somebody else's problem. If you're out there with a college degree um, wondering how to invest your life, uh, your community needs you. If you want to help South Bend schools get fully staffed, you can find a list of open positions on their website. They're also meeting candidates for certified and non-certified positions at their fall job fair this week. That's happening at the Brown Community Learning Center on Thursday from 4 to 7 p.m. You can find that information with this full story on our website, WNDU.com. For 16 News Now Investigates, I'm Carly Luca.